God blesses those who are poor. Theirs is the kingdom. God blesses those who mourn. They will be comforted. God blesses those who are humble. They will inherit the earth. God blesses those who hunger and thirst for justice. Oh, 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 oh. Jesus went up to the mountainside and gave us words of wisdom. Jesus went up to the mountainside and showed us a brand new God blesses the merciful, they will be shown mercy. God blesses whose hearts are pure, they'll see God. God blesses those who work for peace, they will be called children of God. God blesses the persecuted, theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Oh, 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 oh. Jesus went up to the mountainside. Sharing his stuff with me. Oh yeah, you like his stuff? Yeah, toys. Mm -hmm. He's not sharing with me. Oh my Aww, goodness! So you so fought sorry. with your brother? Yes. Then did he hit you? Yeah, <gasps> we hit each other. Oh. I think I hit more. Oh, Pastor Joe, I'm so sorry. But you know what? I have better idea. I think you know you fought your. Brothers a lot, and these days, why don't you step back first and then ask your brother, Hey, brother, I really want to have yours, but I want to share mine mm. first. Mm. And then, would you please share yours next time? Mm. And then he will share, he will be okay. Mm. Then your brother will think of you, Oh, Joe is a Christian, he is a child of God. Mm. Oh man, as a big brother, I feel shame. Mm. I want to share mine first. So that's the way to have peace with you and your brother, I think. Oh, thank you. I think you're right because mm. before I always wanted my brother to share first. Oh. But now I will share mine first. I will try to be kind first. Oh. And that's yeah. good. That's good. So today we're going to talk about the blessing number four, peacemaker. Mm -hmm. And they will be called the children of God. Mm. So we want to be called children of God yes. by our parents and our siblings, our friends. Mm -hmm. How? Let's find out. Matthew chapter 5, verse, verse nine. 9. Okay, today, Pastor Joe, would you please read the verse, chapter 5, verse 9. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Amen. Amen. So people, those who are blessed, 
They should be a peacemaker. So we have peace and peacemaker. Mm -hmm. What is the difference between peace and peacemaker? Mm. I mean, maker is somebody mm. doing, making, doing something, right? Mm. Oh. So when it says peacemaker, it sounds like someone mm -hmm. trying to make a peace. Mm. Mm. Make people good mm. and happy. Mm. So peacemakers, they will be called the children of God, not the troublemakers. Are you troublemakers or peacemakers? Mm. You always, you know, ask your brothers to give you something selfish or you try to show yours first mm. or obey your parents. By obeying your parents, you can make peace in your family. With your friends, you can share something. When your friends fight together, then you can be kind of judge. Okay, hey friends, what happened? Then you ask them what happened. You can be a peacemaker. That's right. I mean, previously, Pastor Cho was fighting with his brother. Mm -hmm. But for you guys, I know a lot of you guys have siblings like Pastor Cho mm -hmm. and myself and mm -hmm. Pastor David. And through this verse, we want to be not just myself, but we all want to be called children of God. So whenever you feel uncomfortable, mm -hmm. or whenever you feel angry over something, mm -hmm. to say, peacemaker, yes. peacemaker. Peacemaker. That's right. About Jesus. That's right. That's why people think of you. Oh, that guy is a Christian. That guy is a child of God. Mm -hmm. Now, if you don't do it, oh, who is that guy? Is he going oh. to the church? Is he a Christian? Mm -hmm. No, he shouldn't do that. Mm -hmm. So let's think about. I want to be a peacemaker. Yes. Peacemaker. That's good. All right, Pastor Joe, would you? Let's in prayer. Okay, let us pray together to the Lord. Dear God, today we learned about that blessed are the peacemakers, which are the children of God. Mm -hmm. God, sometimes we always get angry. We got easy to get angry. We mm -hmm. fight each other. We don't want to share. We get selfish. Mm -hmm. God, let us remember today's Bible verse. Let us be a peacemaker. Let us be the first one to share to give love and be kind to each other. Wow. Let us show that we are children of God to our neighbors mm. and to our family. Mm. Thank you, God, for today's message. I pray everything in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The Thinking Cap and Zara. Do you know what this is? This is a Bible! Today, we're going to learn about something Jesus said in the book of Matthew. Jesus says that God blesses those who work for peace. Hmm, what is peace? <gasps> Let's get our thinking caps on and find out. So, peace is freedom from upsetting thoughts or feelings. So, when I am peaceful, that means I am calm and happy. Let me think about my peaceful place. I think my peaceful place would have a waterfall and butterflies and raindrops that taste so sweet. That would make me happy and free from any upset feelings. Hmm. But Jesus says that we have to work for peace. Well, that means when everything is going crazy around us, like a big storm that comes around us and scares us, we can still find peace. How do we do that? Well, we look to Jesus. Have you ever been scared when it's dark? I know my peaceful place isn't dark, and sometimes I get scared when I can't see anything. Well, in those times, we can imagine that Jesus is there and that he gives us peace. But God also wants us to help other people find that same peace. So when you see someone else who's upset and doesn't have peace, you can help them find peace too. And when we do that, Jesus says that we will be called the children of God. <laughs> That means we're part of God's family and that he's our heavenly dad. And when we have a heavenly dad as great as God, well, 
will always have peace.